Hi everyone, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel, A Puzzling Lamb. Today's video is all about the German brand Kuriosi. Kuriosi is a very unique brand that makes cardboard and wooden and acrylic puzzles. And today I'm going to review all three. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Before I get to the review, I want to show you my collection of Kuriosi puzzles. And the first one, which is also the first one I ever bought and the first time I ever heard about the company, is this mini, tiny, tiny puzzle. Uh, it doesn't say on the box, I think it's 33 pieces. Uh, they have a lot of these cute little matchbox, matchbox puzzles. Um, very cute. And then from their Palapelli series or frame puzzles, as they also call them, and I'll show you why in my review, is this Christmas one with Christmas baubles. And this puzzle is perfect for me. Uh, puzzles is not my only obsession. I'm also obsessed with vintage Christmas baubles. So I love doing this one. I have done this one. Uh, very beautiful. And then from the same series, and this is the one I'll do in the review, is this one with all these cute owls. But you'll get to see this one in more detail soon. Then for wooden puzzles, this is one I actually found second hand and it's a round puzzle and it's double sided. So this is one side and on the other side, same image but different colors. And then, uh, and this one is 88 pieces. And another also double sided wooden puzzle is this one. This is 424 pieces. And this is also one I'll do in this video and review. And then the last puzzle I have is this one Blackie. And this is the acrylic puzzle. Um, and there's no image on here because there's no image on the puzzle. It's completely black acrylic. So uh, I'm expecting this one to be difficult even though it's uh, only 88 pieces. So yes, in my review, I'll show you this one and then this one and then Lastly, and I'm slightly dreading it, this one. <laughs> so let's get to the reviews. First off, let's take a closer look at the box. On the front, you have a nice big uh, image uh, with nothing covering it. And it might be a bit difficult to see on camera, but the box itself is completely matte. And then the image is shiny and it gives a very nice effect. You also get a little preview here where they show you uh, that these puzzle pieces is not just standard shaped puzzle pieces. Now you may think that this is a very big box for only 211 pieces, but there's a reason for that and we'll get to that in a minute. Then on the back, you again get a little image yeah, and the name and piece, num piece count and they also show you some of the other images they have in the collection. Then on the sides here it just shows you the art number and here it says puzzle includes a display frame perfect for your desk or wall. And as you'll see, that's the reason for the size of the box. Here it gives you the name of the puzzle in German and in English, owls. And on the last side, it 
gives you the number of pieces. So let's open it up. So here you have the bag of pieces, we'll get to that. And then here, the frame it mentioned, if I can get it out. <laughs> so as you can see, the image, the puzzle is actually shaped and you get this frame so you can put the puzzle together directly in this frame. And then when you've done that, it holds together without glue. I tried it with the, the other one I have, of the puzzles they have, I have. And then you can either put it on your desk or you can hang it. And then the pieces, the pieces come in a plastic bag, but it is resealable. So if you don't want to display the puzzle, you can take it apart and then you can reuse this plastic bag. So let's take a closer look at the pieces. As you can see, oops, the shapes, they remind me more of the type of puzzle piece shapes you see in wooden puzzles, but this is a cardboard puzzle. And they are completely matte, there's no shine at all. As you can see, they have a paper backing, a black paper backing. I'm normally not a fan of paper backing. Uh, I find it tend to peel, uh, but the last puzzle I did of theirs, though, I had no issue with it. So let's see if it's an issue here. But I like the color. I like that it's black. It matches with their overall aesthetic. Uh, so it gives it more of a purpose uh, than if it were just your normal white paper backing. Now, when I do this puzzle, as for sorting, I don't actually think I'll do any sorting. Uh, when it's shaped, it does, and the pieces also are the shape that they are. It really doesn't make sense to sort out the edge pieces. Um, and since it's only 211 pieces, I think I just want to. I'm just going to flip them all over and uh, lay them out so I can see them all at once. Uh, and go from there. So yes, let's get started. So I flipped all the pieces and as you can see I already started putting together the first two owls. These were just the patterns that jumped out to me first. And now as you'll see, despite these wonky piece shapes, you'd think they wouldn't lock together at all. But as you can see they're not going anywhere. And if I do manage to take a few apart, you'll see that a lot of them actually hold together very well, which I think is impressive. And I don't quite understand how with these P shapes. Now I wanted to show you that I did find these two pieces that are still stuck together. They're not cut quite all the way through, but I think they'll be easy to pull apart without damaging them. And then before, I also completely forgot to talk about the piece quality. Now I'd, I'd say this is about average thickness and they feel very sturdy, which they need to be with these piece shapes. You can see there's not a lot holding this piece together, but it really doesn't feel like a, there's a risk of it breaking. And as you may be able to tell, there's hardly any puzzle dust, if any. So, yes, I'm very impressed with these pieces. Now, which owl to do next?
So this was a really lovely experience putting together. I'll share all my final thoughts at the end of the video, but for now, let's move on to the next puzzle. The wooden puzzle. This one comes in a metal tube. Um, it doesn't actually have the full image anywhere on it. Um, it wasn't a problem for me. I bought this online and there were plenty of pictures there. But if you saw this in a store, you wouldn't actually know what you were getting. Uh, and as far as I can see, it doesn't say anywhere that it's a wooden puzzle. But it says it's a double-sided puzzle. Here's the number of pieces, 424. And the name of the puzzle. So let's open it up. So inside, the pieces come in a nice fabric bag. And let's see. Here's a little information in German. Don't know what it says. I might have had German for three years in school, but that doesn't mean I learned anything. Um, and here is the image. So it's all these beautiful butterflies on a blue background and then on the other side on a green background. Let's take a closer look at the pieces. Isn't that sound just great? So let's see. The shapes are a lot like the shapes in the cardboard puzzle. And they feel, let's take a closer look at the thickness. Okay, let's see. So I'd say that's about three millimeters. I believe um, Wentworth, re Wentworth recently increased uh, the size of their pieces, but I think three millimeters is about the same thickness as their old pieces. They feel very sturdy. There's not a ton of whimsy, pie whimsy pieces, but I do believe, yes, there's a little butterfly here. I believe there's a few butterfly pieces in here. So my strategy, I think I'm going to put together the green side uh, and I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of sorting here either. Um, I, I do think I'm going to um, sort out the edge pieces, but I'm not necessarily going to do them straight away, to do the edge straight away. And then I'll probably just turn around, turn them all around so it's the this side up. And there'll probably be some pieces where I won't be able to tell which side. So I'll put them in a pile for themselves also. I see I'm... I don't know if it's reading on camera, but I am getting a bit of black on my fingers from the pieces. I hope that won't transfer to the image, but we'll see. But for now, let me get these pieces sorted. So I finished the sorting and I actually did end up putting the edge together. Sorting the pieces, I noticed that it looked like the edge would actually lock together pretty well, which isn't often the case with round or shaped puzzles. But this one does. And as you can see, I did miss an edge piece or two, but that's nothing new for me. So here I have all the pieces turned around with the green side up. Here I have all the pieces where I couldn't immediately tell which side is which. And then here 
are the whimsy pieces, some cute butterflies. So my strategy from here, I think will be actually a lot like the owl, pass owl puzzle, uh, where I really won't do much sorting from now on. I'll just pick out one color of butterflies at a time. Um, I think I'll probably start with the pink butterflies, then perhaps the white ones. But I'll just see what happens, what calls out to me. Oh, and one thing I will mention is that sorting the pieces, I did get a lot of black on my hands. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me. It was easy to wash off and it doesn't look like it's gotten on the image side of the pieces. But I can see it being a deal breaker for some people, so it's worth mentioning. But for now, let's get to putting this puzzle together. Here is the finished puzzle. Once again, I'll share my final thoughts at the end of this video, but of course I have to flip it and see how it looks on the other side. I have carefully slipped the puzzle onto a different puzzle board, one that's fabric covered so it doesn't slide as easily. 
and then I'll just put another board on top and flip it and hope for the best. I have taken pictures of the puzzle in case something goes wrong, so I don't have to put the puzzle together again. Um, yes, so wish me luck. Luckily, that went without any problems. And just look how beautiful the puzzle is on this side. I think I might actually like this side better, but I chose to do the green side because I thought that the background and the butterflies, there were more contrast between them. So I, my theory was that that side would be easier to do. And I think I was right, but it's so beautiful. So from this colorful, happy image on to a completely black one. Time for what I predict to be the most difficult of the three puzzles, even though it's the one with the lowest amount of pieces. So this one called Blackie. I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's a black puzzle. I'm calling it Blackie. Also comes in a metal tube like the wooden puzzle. You have the name of the puzzle, number of pieces, 88, acrylic glass black made in Germany. Very simple. No image since there's no image on the actual puzzle. Let's take a look inside. So this time the pieces come in a resealable plastic bag. And inside there's also some information in German about the puzzle. Okay, let's see the pieces. Again, very similar shapes as the other two puzzles, but this time in plastic and completely black. So one thing I noticed when I first got this puzzle that's a little disappointing and I don't know if it, you'll be able to tell on camera but one side of the pieces is completely smooth but the other side have these, I don't know if you can see it, like creases or bubbles in the surface. It's almost, there's almost so many that you'd think it might be on purpose, but I don't think it is. And it's a little disappointing. It means I'll be able to tell, actually be able to tell which side is which. And maybe I'm going to be happy about that. But I have a feeling that wasn't the point of the puzzle. So, but we'll see. I'll probably be happy about it. So as far as sorting, there really isn't any sorting to do. But if it's like the wooden puzzle and the edge actually locks together, and I think it might, I will probably start with the edge and sort that. But from there on, I have absolutely no idea what my strategy is, except time. <laughs> Just spending a lot of time on it. <laughs> and the edge is done. It actually didn't take very long, perhaps 10 minutes or so. As I predicted, I was able to tell which side was which, which definitely helped. There, when so far, doing the edge, I haven't experienced any false fits, which is a relief because in a solid colored puzzle, false fits is a nightmare. Over here, I've just placed the rest of the pieces in a in nice rows. Since there's no image to go on, all I have is the piece shape. So I wanted to be able to see them properly. Looking at the pieces like this, it doesn't look like very much, like very many, uh, but I don't want to be too optimistic about this. 
Um, so far, it's been fun. Let's see how I feel after staring at this for about 20 minutes and putting no pieces in. <laughs> So I really enjoyed all three of these puzzles. But before I share my final thoughts, I just want to acknowledge that no, I'm not filming this on the same day. I didn't finish all these puzzles on the same day. In between, I went to a car park flea market trying to sell, among other things, some puzzles. And I did sell some puzzles, but I also paid for it with a lovely sunburn. I was wearing sunscreen, but there you are. But Back to the puzzles. And the first one, the owls. I really have nothing bad to say about this puzzle. The pieces are great quality and I really like the experience of putting together a cardboard puzzle but with these wonky shape shapes. It, uh, it also means that it takes a lot longer to put together for the piece count. It's a low piece count but it feels like there's a lot more than there are. And then, of course, the other thing that's really special about this puzzle is the frame it comes with. And as you can see, the pieces, this is the finished puzzle. This is not the box. This is the finished puzzle in the frame. And as you can see, the pieces, they're going nowhere. <laughs> they're really stuck in there tight. And I will say, because of the tight fit, there were some, piece, were some pieces I really had to push in and there were also some times where because of the tight fit uh, the pieces weren't they weren't lying completely flat but the minute I put in the last piece everything just fell into place I also just want to uh, give a little tip if you want to take this puzzle apart because it the fit is so tight that if you try to uh, take the pieces apart on this side i really don't think you can without ruining the pieces but on the back you might be able to tell under here there's a little hole and if you just take a nail or perhaps the back of a pencil and push then you can push out one of the pieces and then from there it's easy to take apart i don't know if uh, that's why that little hole is there, but uh, it works. 
So yes, a little tip for me. As for the other puzzles in this series, there are some really lovely images and I would love to own all of the puzzles in this series. Especially, I think it's the newest, pus newest puzzles with chickens, with a collage of chickens and that one is just super cute. All the puzzles in this series is around the 200, 250 pieces and they cost 28.9 euros, which I think is a perfectly acceptable price, even for the low piece count. But when you think of the quality you're getting and the, the frame you're getting, I, I really think it's a nice price. And now for the wooden puzzle. With this one, I have only two small negative things to say. And the first one is that it did stain my fingers black uh, from the side of the pieces where it was laser cut. It was mostly while I sorted the pieces. Uh, I didn't really notice it while putting the puzzle together. It, uh, it didn't bother me that much because it didn't get on the uh, image side of the pieces at all. And I, uh, it washed off easily. But still, it's a small negative and it's something I really haven't experienced with other wooden puzzles. The other thing I will say is the image or uh, perhaps lack thereof. There's nothing on the box really to go off and then there's just this small tiny little poster. Uh, again it's a small negative. Uh, I didn't really used or need an image that much for this particular puzzle. I really only looked at it to see where to place the different butterflies. But if they ever make a puzzle with a more complicated image, perhaps, I would suggest to add a bigger poster. But other than those two small negatives, I really loved this puzzle. The quality of the pieces is great. There were no laser burns on the images or no chipped images on both sides. So yes, very great, great quality. And then for the price, and the price with this puzzle might be one of the best things, it only cost 36.9 euros and that's for 424 pieces and in, in my experience that is very very cheap for a wooden puzzle. When it comes to the other wooden puzzles in their collections this is one of the only ones in this high piece count uh, and the other puzzles they have with the lower piece counts is not quite as cheap but I still think they're a very acceptable price. And now for the last puzzle the acrylic puzzle. Now this is the only one of the three puzzles I have a real quality issue with. I enjoyed putting it together. It was difficult, but it wasn't frustrating. It went a lot faster to put together than I thought it would. Uh, I would say about two and a half hours, but that was including a lunch break. But the reason it went faster than expected is because I was able to tell the dif uh, difference between the two sides because of those weird creases or bubbles on the surface of one of the sides. And on one side, I didn't really mind it uh, because it would have taken much, much, much longer uh, otherwise. But on the other side, when I bought this puzzle, I thought I was buying a puzzle where I wouldn't be able to tell which side was which. And if it had been on purpose, then that would have been fine if they perhaps made one side white and one side black. But again, I have a feeling that uh, that really wasn't the point of this puzzle. That the point was to have a very difficult puzzle where you wouldn't be able to tell which side is which. But other than that, I really like the concept of this puzzle. I have tried before putting together puzzles with uh, no image or uh, very little image. And it's always uh, a fun challenge. Uh, it's a good, great exercise in recognizing piece shapes because you have nothing else to go on. But yes, a, a little disappointed about this one. As for the price, this one costs 24.9 euros, which I think is a fine price. I really don't have uh, a lot to uh, compare this type of puzzle with, but I think it was a fine price. Overall, I'm very impressed with this brand. I think they have some unique products and I like how they are experimenting and playing around with different concepts and different materials. Now, what I would like to know in the comments down below is 
is which of these three puzzles you'd most like to try. And if you perhaps already done a Kuriosi puzzle, what did you think about it? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see even more puzzle content from me, please follow me on Instagram. See you next time.